Welcome everyone to your full moon lunar eclipse reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. This full moon will take place on October 28th. Okay, so getting ready for that lunar eclipse. We just got through that solar eclipse, which was saying, you know what, realign, get empowered, you know, reassess things that you're looking at. Um, there was just so many things going on in that solar eclipse um, that is really a part of shifting into this lunar eclipse where it's really wiping the board over here for new you, new things coming into your life. That is what eclipses are for, for making towers, bringing in things that are new, old chapters going away and new chapters starting. And you will watch these old chapters start disappearing and fading away. Um, for a lot of you, it could be right before your eyes. And for others of you, it could be one of those things where it's like, it was so small um, that, you know what, it's something I'm going to look back on and be like, oh my gosh, you know what, that actually did, you know, that did happen. So like you could say the new year come January, you could look back into September, October area and be like, whoa, I remember what I was doing this and that and look at where it has pushed me to these new limits, these new jobs, these new things that are going on within my life. So let's see what Spirit has to say over here about what things are coming towards you and the majority of everyone. Um, you know, new relationships, new opportunities. So best message, please, Spirit. Best message for everyone, please, is take the risk. Time for the leap of faith. Step out of your comfort zone. Feeling safe and secure is a wonderful experience, but we remain in our safe zone for fear of change. We create a limiting and restrictive environments that can ultimately lead to stagnation and the loss of a creative potential to manifest our greatest contributions in the world. Let go of fear and take a risk. And talk about that letting go of fear is what that new manifestation video is going to be about, guys. It's going to be about what to do, not listening to that little voice in our head, that protective piece, right? And really not to worry, but let's just visualize, right? So you guys probably want to really watch that video because it will really help within this situation. That video will take place right after this video. Okay, so having the opportunity, this card speaks of new opportunities, although they may not necessarily come from in the form that you were expecting. Be alert. Look beyond the obvious. Be prepared for opportunities disguised as maybe even losses. Whoa. If, you, if a new pathway opens for you, trust that it is leading you in the direction that you are meant to go. Spirit gives you these opportunities and these pathways for you to take. Right? No matter how scary it seems, go ahead and persevere. Who would have thought that, that a humble acorn could grow into a mighty oak tree? But of course, this takes time. Whatever you were involved in, this card belong, or brings a message Excuse me, of reassurance. Your hard work and continued effort and dedication will come to fruitation. You are asked to pers persevere and trust within the universe. And that is another reason why a lot of our times we feel like our manifestations are not coming true is because we expect them to come within certain dates. We expect things to happen in timely matters. And that doesn't always happen, right? Because a lot of times we have to wait for things to, yes, to nurture and to grow. So whenever we are sow our seeds, however much we yearn to see them grow, we cannot force them to develop any quicker than the nature will allow. That's that perfect timing. But we can provide them with the best possible conditions to grow. Whatever you have initiated in your life, this card is here to encourage you. Be patient and nurture your relationships, ideas, projects with love, and your manifestations. I actually wouldn't be surprised if maybe this one wouldn't come out in that other reading. So let's see what's going on over here. Make sure that you're giving yourself self-care at this time. Self-care is not an act of selfishness. It's an act of consciousness. This card invites you to prioritize your own self-care. Yeah, for the opportunities. This isn't a you know, a selfish thing to want opportunities or to want to take care of yourself. Make sure that you have, you know, 
um, that you're hydrated, that you're clean, that you're free, that you're relaxed, that you're meditation, taking out time for yourself to meditate and reevaluate. Attend to your own needs with love and care. You create an inner wealth that radiates into the world, impacting positivity on all that you've come into contact with. It just allows you to bloom like this lotus flower over here. Allows you to be the best that you can be. Self-care just allows us to say that we are who we are and that when I feel good, I can spread that to everyone else. Remember, misery loves company. So if you don't want to be around miserable people, you don't want to push out the energy of being miserable and sad because you're just going to attract that, especially when you're looking for romance. We'll also talk about that as well in the other video about how we attract things we don't want right into our lives. New beginnings. This card indicates that you are about to begin a new chapter in your life. Just like I said, shed, release, and cleanse. Let go of any obstacles, inner or outer that prevent you from engaging fully and moving forward. Time is right for a fresh start and new beginning. The universe supports you in your growth. Now is the time because these lunar eclipses, like I said, the lunar eclipse wants you to shed the old. It wants you to have a rebirth. It wants you to shift in the areas of your life, to freshen things up, bringing in new, like I said, new jobs, new relationships, new soulmates. The time now, right, is to shift into what it is you truly need, opening up those floodgates for you, right? It's almost like throughout the couple of last couple of months or so, some of you might have felt like you're in some kind of like pressure cooker and you're just ready to pop and blow because you're so ready for this new opportunity. Let's see what Spirit has over here with these cards. I haven't used these in a while. I think I used them for one, one or two readings this month, but that was about it. Under the take a risk is for your own freedom. You're free to do what you choose. Bringing in that freedom. Whether it's freedom also of shifting from your financial life may occur. You know, occur. You might have some kind of shake up when it comes to income and wealth. Okay. Self-care. Give us the best message for self-care. And opportunities, please. Heart's desire, going after your own heart's desires. The angels are supporting and guiding and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So, you know, the best thing you can do to have your dreams become a reality is make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Taking care of yourself is also keeping your mind in a positive, you know, higher vibration. When we feel good, we're going to, you know, release that good feeling, positive vibration into the universe and that is the energy that we want right to manifest so we can have things the new <clears throat> new beginning says you're on the right track keep doing what you're doing because it's working and that is keeping that positive energy keeping that creative expression going your soul longs to express itself creatively whether it's through your work how about just you being you and being your unique self Using your own self-expression, career change. A lot of you are going to have a mighty, mighty career change in income, wealth. You might be seeing more money arriving in forms of maybe a raise, right? A side hustle, a job, an inheritance. So you might want to keep your eyes open for any kind of, ex, you know, um, ex expansive new areas within your life that are opening doors up. Also watch your expenses, though, too. You don't want to have any collapses of overspending. Stuff like that. Keeping that wealth going. So you're embarking upon a career that brings you joy and abundance you desire and deserve. So the portals coming up for you is karmic board cleansing. And that's what a lot of this is. That's what a lot of, you know, that's that's where the new cycles are. Cleansing those karmics out of your life. Living your truth. Rewriting your story. Energetic clearing. Love it. Next one coming out of Heart's Desire is Memories of Atlantis, Spiritual Acceleration, Progress, and Technology. Knowing that you're accelerating over here within progress and making progress. The change of the creative with the new beginnings is once again clearing out the old stories, making new stories. Wow, that's crazy. Because this one says you're rewriting new stories and this one says re rewriting new stories of your life because you're clearing out old stories. What did I say? Clearing 
clearing out old chapters, releasing the past things from your life, and freedom. And there it is, freedom again. Wow. Your Akashic Records. Wow, that is really awesome, you guys. So let's get a couple of tarot cards over here. How amazing is that? And then we'll grab some moon cards. But that is amazing. Release the past from anything that doesn't make you feel happy and let go and start afresh, right? Rewrite your story for the things you want in your life. It's your life. You know what you want. If you don't know exactly what you want, figure it out, right? During the new moon. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands. There it is. The past. Right? Clearing out the past so that you can find freedom in the new past. Whoa, my ear just rang. Um, but you could be dealing with a, you know, if, if you're dealing with a love, you could be clearing out old love, old relationships. It could be with a Scorpio, a Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. This is talking about discovering new ideas, new potentials, understanding that life is excitement and full of freedom. We have the freedom to explore what it is we truly want, not having to live in the past. Also, the past is talking about, also could be bringing in a beautiful soulmate um, from your past, a person of your past life, right? That is now time to grow and live with them and learn with them, um, but also bringing in this confidence and this focused and having the zest for life that you haven't felt for a while. Maybe you even haven't felt this, you know, maybe it's a feeling that you've had from the past, right? Because maybe you could say, you know what, 15 years ago before all this went down, I was feeling wonderful and I love the way that feels and I want to have that nostalgic feeling again. You could be even running into a past friend who makes you feel comfortable that you haven't seen in a while. Maybe you've been manifesting them to come back into your life. Um, or maybe you're even an old job that feels nostalgic of, you know what, I loved doing that. I would like to return to do that work again. Or putting off old projects, right, that you would like to return back to. Maybe you were writing a book and you stopped writing because you had other things to do. So you would like to return back to writing that book or just writing in general. So watch things of that nature as well. Everybody knows what they're doing. Right. So it's whatever it is about manifesting. Yes, it's going to feel like, you know, it's been a long time coming. There was a lot of productivity, but you're also going to see the proficiency and responsibilities coming back around in areas of your life. You might even feel like you're running into, you know, new ways of doing things. Um, it could be, you know, um, maybe you're going to go back to the gym. Right. Strengthening up your um I don't know, your routines, your daily routines, things of this nature, right? So, hey, you know what? Watch for the blessings to unfold. Um, so it definitely could be watching, you know, yeah, as you're building something over here. But like I said, you know, to get rid of something old, there's going to have to be a tower moment. You know that, I know that, right? Whether it's God giving you the tower moment or... You know, or you giving yourself the tower moment? Is it a personal thing that you're going to allow it to go, right? One minus six equals five, meaning a personal transition. Or going to allow the universe to do it. One plus six equals seven, meaning universal ties, bringing it down, depending on how you want or how it's going to work, right? But no matter what, it's also going to be an awakening and a sudden insight of what is going on as you are building this new future, this building this new chapter within your life. It could even be building a new relationship for desires, feeling like you're reaching your victory. Wow. As you're bringing in, yeah, some of you are going to have a lot of new money and a lot of new opportunities. Time to travel. Maybe you've been waiting for your whole life to get ready to travel. Maybe you are um, retired and I've been saving all this, this money to travel. Now it's time. Seeing the bigger picture. Getting past the challenges. Focusing on your rewards, knowing that the rewards are coming in for you, right? Because the lunar eclipse is going to empower you to step not only out of this comfort zone, my friends, right? But it's going to allow you to reach the victory around you for your desires and your dreams to come through in your manifestations. That's why we have the page of pinnacles. He's holding on to that pinnacle. He is bringing in the manifestation of your dreams. He's telling you this is the new direction that I have for you. Right, whether career, romance, travel, whatever it is you want. Searching a new field of work, 
taking on, you know, some of those, um, right, those new desires, new creative expressions, going back to old things, right, taking on new responsibilities, taking on new skills, schedules, daily routines, however it is, absolutely. Wow, I just love this, bringing in that inner strength, knowing who you are. There's a lot of self-respect and a lot of self-power over here, right? And it's a subtle power. It's a focus. Having compassion for what it is you truly desire within your life and really feeling it, really holding on tight to it. I love that. Saving your money, having the security, knowing you're in control of your destiny and of what you want at this time, and really knowing it and feeling it. Some of you, like I said, even have new love coming in. So I do feel like you have new love. I'm going to grab some new love cards, or actually some romance cards. See what is going on over here for those of you who are waiting for a new love to come in. Clarify on the page of cups, please. We have a trust, religious factors, and, oh, we even got the finance and career. So you might even meet this person at work. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. But I just feel like that's, I'm going to meet this person through work, is the way I'm seeing it. Um, religious factors, your love life is influenced by the religious upbringing and spiritual paths, walking the same spiritual path, having the same understanding and clarity of what spiritual means to each other. The situation is calling you to have faith and trust within the situation. I love this. This person is very trusting. Always remember to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and your feelings are real and worth exploring through a new romantic relationship coming towards you that you are aligning yourself with. For those of you, it just feels like you might also be aligning yourself with partnerships and helpers, right? And, uh, you know, just new people and new soulmates to come help you, right? Push you onto the right path, help you in certain areas within your life. Oh, I love it. I love it. So this is definitely trig uh, triggering a huge turning point within your life, guys, when it comes to romance, hobbies, creative sides, money. Oh, my gosh. Everything. Anything and everything that you guys are looking for, that's what they're definitely bringing in. So be sure to keep those manifestations going and be sure to keep yourself as positive as possible. Um, like I said, if you need help with manifestations, please watch my manifestation videos. I do make them every month for those of you who are new. Um, so that we can learn to manifest and law and attract. Okay, so best message coming out for the overall is ask for your needs to be met. It's a beautiful card for everyone. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you as well, as I do feel like some of you do have this maybe fire sign or this Scorpio, right, coming in to assist you, okay? Alrighty, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.